Hello and welcome to Cloudfarers. This is the part 3 of setting up CI CD for Azure Data Factory using GitHub Actions. In the part 2 of this series, we covered a problem statement where we have a Dev Data Factory and a Test Data Factory. Dev Data Factory points to our Dev Data Sources targets uh, to perform all the pipeline functions. And when we move our components, from dev data factory to test data factory the components should automatically start pointing to our test data sources and targets this is what uh, we achieved in our previous video so if you're interested to watch that before we continue with this one please feel free to do so and in this video we are going to extend this uh, to key vaults so we will create the key vaults uh, the key vault for the data platform which hosts all the dev credentials one key vault for test data platform and when you migrate the components from dev to test adf those would automatically start to use the right credentials from the right key vault that's what we are going to uh, achieve in this video now coming to the demo in the previous video we had created a simple pipeline to move the data from one directory to another directory in the dev data lake and the same pipeline in test data factory would do the same in test data lake i can show you the structure once again so this is our dev data lake and in the default container i have input folder and this pipeline picks up this file moves it to output folder uh, we have the same structure in our test data lake as well so we have one file here this picks it up from input and moves it to output now let's create the key vaults for our dev data platform and test data platform go to key vaults create pick up your resource group I am naming this one as KV ADF Dev Data Platform. Pick up a region standard 7. This doesn't really matter for our demo. Just keep these and review and create and create. While this is being created, let's create the another one for test let's change this to test and UK South seven days view and create and create Okay, now we have both the key vaults ready. Uh, let's go to the dev key vault and we will store our secrets here. Uh, but to do that, I need to have the correct rights on this key vault. So I am going to assign myself as a key vault administrator. So this is one role that you need to give for this demo key vault administrator next select member this is me review and assign yep now the other thing that we need to do is uh, this will allow us to store uh, the secrets okay let's do the uh, let's save the secrets here first and then we'll work on the other piece Gonna delete this so we will create a key named data lake key and let's pick up the secret for our dev data lake go to security and networking go to access keys and pick up the key from here copy and paste it here That's it. 
we will perform the same actions for our test key vault as well. Key vault administrator and I'm selecting myself as the admin. Go to secrets and go to your test data lake. This is our test data lake and in the test data lake security and networking go to access keys pick up this one and sorry here yep and name the same that we did for the other key vault data lake key and that's it So let's look at it again. So in the dev key vault, we have data lake key and the test data lake, we have a data lake key. So we are good here. Now dev key vault should be accessible by our dev data factory. Test key vault should be accessible by our test data factory. Now what we will do here again is we will give the permissions on these key vaults to those data factories by using their managed identity so let's go back to the access control add role assignment and this time use secret user yeah key vault secret user next and use managed identity now this one see this one is for dev data platform so select the one manage identity so this is the one that we are using dev uk south cicd this is the uh, data factory select it and done okay it will do its magic then let's go to the test key vault again go to i am and add role assignment secret user managed identity i am again going to use the managed identity of the data factory which is my test data factory yeah i hope until now this is clear so what we've done so far is we've created two two key vaults and the dev key vault is now accessible by our dev data factory by giving it the access on the managed identity of dev data factory and the same for test so both should be accessible by the respective data factories the secret is saved now let's go and change our pipeline okay let's create a new branch and start our work cd demo 3 let's say create and yeah now let's create a linked service using the key vault connection create new again a gen 2 linked service we are going to name this the same but with underscore kv since it is a key vault based connection now and i am going to say enter manually and let's use our dev data lake url here and the key now we will use from our key vault Yes, to use the key vault as well, we need a linked service to the key vault as well. So let's create a linked service to Azure Key Vault. And Dev Data Platform, System Assigned Managed Identity, yes. test is successful create 
yeah now we should see the secret here yes we do which is a good thing and say create so you see two new linked services here one is the link service for key vault one is the link service for our data lake let's go to the data sets and change the connection now input i am going to change it to key vault and for output as well i'm going to change it to key vault and save it save this as well go back to link services you see now this is connected to nothing zero so i can safely delete it i don't need it anymore yeah going back to our data sets these are saved now our pipeline should still work do the same thing let's validate it yes and click debug yeah it is completed let's look at the data in the data lake default output yeah it has arrived just now our pipeline works so the next step is to go and pick up the parameters which are created for our new link services so that we can use those names to put them in the additional parameter section in our github sections to, so to do that go to your dev data factory and in manage go to arm template and export the arm template and extract all and open this file arm template for factory now you see the very first section has the parameters for the dev data factory now these are the two parameters that we need to use let's copy this one so basically this is the url of our key vault this is the url of, of our dev data lake let's pick both of them and copy them to uh, notepad i am going to need this this one as this and the other one is this equals this now when we add it to the parameters in github actions we want github to use test here not dev so let's make it as test you could create a variable as well in the yaml file but i'm not going to that complexity deliberately so these two parameters are now ready let's go back to our github action now this is our yaml file right so let's make the change in the same branch we have created a new branch right in adf uh, this one use this one go to the workflow main yml and i am going to make a change here itself directly yeah so you see this one we don't need this anymore we need these two so let's copy let's delete these two we don't need this anymore cleared everything copy this space copy this and paste it yeah so now we do not have any secret to manage because we just need to give them the right name of the key vault 
and that's it it will automatically use the right secret name which is our data lake key I believe so this is done let's commit the change yeah done let's go back to our dev data factory and let us create a pull request able to merge and click on create pull request merge once we merge it we no longer need this branch we can delete it and we should see in our github actions there should be an action already running yes this is now running I am going to pause this video yep it is done let's look at our test data factory now to see if everything has worked as expected yep so let's refresh our link services first since we are on this page yep so the old one is gone new one is here and in our data sets this should be pointing to key vault based link service which is good let's look at our pipeline and let's try and debug this before we do that let me show you what we have in the output folder yeah so input so in the output folder we have nothing so far let's run this yeah it is done so let's go to our output folder refresh and here we go so it has arrived now in the test data lake so our pipeline worked so this covers the scope of this video i hope you liked the content and it is helpful for you uh, if so please do subscribe before you leave and uh, i am planning to create content outside of the devops as well focusing on azure data factory and synapse and fabric as well so please stay tuned thank you very much